If you say you want to hold a meeting of Nigeria DJs, it's going to be we will still do it. And at that particular time, the Ghanaian DJ, I think they seem to have an association then. It seems to be performing a lot better than Nigerians because they're doing a lot of things together and we can see that. And that's a challenge to us as Nigerians. So that's one of the um, uh, the reasons why you know we actually came together to see if we can you know achieve something in doing a lot together. But unfortunately, the DJ Association achieved um, a lot during the short term, um, a couple of years of rain. So, um, one of it is the um, ability to get all Nigerians together. For instance, the first time um, Niger DJ show we did, was it year 2000 or was it 99? I think it was year 2000. It was one of the biggest show ever organized by an African in this country, as far as I'm concerned. Statistically, I don't see um, you know, any figure that can beat that so far because we have all the DJ. We're talking about like, Adele gone, you know, KC, Abbas, you know, Fisher Ali, Ade, every big name, Ladi, King and all that, everyone coming together on the same umbrella and doing a show, you know, people that are probably coming because of Adele gone, they're there, or probably there's some KC fans, they're there, Ali and all that, you know, I mean, people come because of one person or the other, you know, and because we have a lot of this DJ together, uh, the opportunity is there, to, you know, to fill up the house, which we did. And uh, you know, no, the money was okay as well, but at that particular time, we're not really interested in the money part of it. But what we were able to achieve as a group, and then um, the fact that we got people together, and it was really, really nice. Yes. Um, as an association, to me, I know I'm not really surprised that um, people seem to have gone their different ways. You know, it's not um, an association anymore. It is an association in the sense that people talk about it, what we were able to achieve while we were together. But at the moment, a lot of people seem to go back to what they were doing prior to Niger DJ, which is doing their own thing, parties and clubs and all that. But we were able to achieve because, you know, like I said, we show that we were able to, you know, do together as an association was one of the best. And the people, uh, the, um, the DJ themselves, seems to like relate to each other a lot in you know in many ways. I.e., we have a printout of uh, names and contacts of DJs that was distributed to each and every member of the DJ. I myself, even though uh, I know and I've met uh, most of the Nigerian DJs, not all of them, but Nigerian DJ session was an opportunity for me to actually meet face to face with the rest of the uh, DJs. So sometimes you just you know hear each other's name, you know, DJ this, DJ that, and all that, you know. Or you probably speak on the phone, or we give parties to each other, you know what I mean? But it was a good opportunity to actually, you know, get to work and communicate together. You know, that the opportunity was there, you know, because at that time we were kind of like, you know, in the prime, you know, of our time. You know, as far as the association is concerned at that time. Because actually we were thinking of involving the uh, Nigerian High Commissioner. You know, we were talking about, you know, getting a lot of uh, sponsor, you know, apart from the high commissioners, some other Nigerian uh, outlets, like uh, stores and restaurants and uh, many other uh, Nigerian outlets in the UK. And it seems to be showing interest, you know, in what we're doing because they've seen it, they've seen the advertiser uh, uh, on the web website, because we had a website as well at that time. Uh, the, uh, posters was everywhere for the shows and all that so it's like you know we were going all the way you know so the opportunity was there you know not just for the association but for individuals as well so use that you know um, forum to to advance in whatever it is they're doing you know especially the DJ thing and we were going to break you know outside the Nigerian circle as well we were thinking of you know breaking into the um, United Kingdom um, music arena I, you know, we want to consider for the um, for the Mobile Award, you know, which is an annual UK musical award over here. So we were thinking of going, you know, really far, you know, but unfortunately, you know, because of the um, uh, situation, you know, and the um, circumstances surrounding the um, people in the association itself, you know, it just seems to. Major uh, player in the association 
for about, I would say about three, four, maybe five, you know, DJs. And the prominent one uh, to me was DJ Abbas. You know, he was working endlessly to make sure everything was in order. In fact, I think he was the, uh, was it the secretary of the treasurer? He was actually in charge of the paperwork, the contribution and all that. Um, so was Jimmy, Jimmy the bonded guy. Yeah, he was actively involved as well until later stages when uh, there was a uh, lot of um, disagreement among the members. And uh, Casey was also involved, um, so was I, uh, DJ RD, DJ, and uh, so many others. But mainly um, Abbas, Jimmy, uh, DJ Fisher, Ali, DJ RD as well. And, um, few other DJs. And overall, all of the DJs, you know, are all involved. They all seem to have an input into the into the association as to, you know, how we go forward and the success of the association. Well, I'd say I'm one of the um, active members of the Nigeria DJ Association, you know. We were, you know, involved in calling members, reminding them for meetings, which was, you know, held on Mondays. You know, there was a time we were doing it twice in the week. You know, we were trying to, you know, get all the uh, paperwork together. Especially when we have uh, shows coming in, like uh, doing the posters and the flyers. And and um, I, I was involved, you know, together with other, you know, because actually what happened is whenever we have a show like that, we get people to uh, uh, designate, um, you know, different tasks. You know, you see people doing, you know, something like the posters, the flyers and all that. Other people doing take care of um, how we're gonna you know supply and sell the drinks and all that and other people you know into the ticketing and the sales of it and the and the accounting of you know a lot of people you know everybody seems to be a part taker in it. Um, I don't really want to offend anyone but there seems to be a couple of uh, people who are whose input seems to be you know less than nothing really. It's not very encouraging where you see some DJs actively working like 24 hours a day to get things done so that shows are successful and uh, some others are kind of like laid back attitude and they're not doing what they're supposed to be doing i.e. like you know distributing flyers or contributing money you know to the um, association as to uh, what show we want to do and all that um i'm not going to actually mention names but at that time we know the people that are really actively involved and the people that are less you know, involved you know they're less concerned i would say the uh, performance of um, everyone, it is, you know, seems to be a little bit better you know, when shows were, you know, were being staged. There seems to be a lot of um, disagreement, you know, as to when the meeting, you know, has been held and all that. Um, a lot of people seem to uh, disagree on, you know, the venue of a, of a show, for instance, you know. They disagree on you know how the flyer should be or the background pictures. They dis disagree on the amount of um, contribution that should be made or the sponsor that should be um, you know, involved. They disagree on the, um, the uh, means of um, advertising, i.e., the radio or what radio station to you to, you know, to use. Like uh, sometimes we were using Choice uh, FM ninety six point nine. A lot of people were saying there's no point because. Uh, the fee then was you know a bit expensive you know for you know for what we were meant to be doing and uh, there seems to be a lot of disagreement you know in different areas of um, you know the discussion really i like the association because uh means of um bringing everyone together you know and getting here you know to be able to operate what each one was actually you know does like you know you do your own thing in a party, you do your own show, you know, but to actually get everyone together, I didn't see umbrella to, to, you know, to perform as a Nigerian DJ, you know, it was a big um, achievement to me, you know, it was really interesting because it brings about the big, you know, amount of people, and not just that, uh, the um, um, friendship that actually arises from that, you know, after the show was really, you know, encouraging, and if that's a means of getting people together, well, you know, it's one of the greatest things that can happen, you know, within uh, or from an association like that. Uh, I'm dissatisfied with um, 
a lot of things that was going on at that time. Now he, you know, a lot of people are not taking the association serious. They're not, you know, contributing not just financially, but their effort is kind of like um, minimal, you know, compared to what the rest of the um, association were doing. They're not really actively involved, like, you know. I was not really satisfied with that because I believe, you know, for it to go forward and be very successful, everybody have to, you know, play their part. And because some of them have been, you know, lazy, you know, in what they do, you know, that in a way to me actually bring back or set back. The well, that's an interesting question. Well, that question, I think we should be directing it to the ladies. Why there ain't many ladies in the DJ business? Um, to be fair to the ladies, um, there, there are, I think, one or two ladies that were actually DJs. I'm not sure if, I don't know Nigerians, I'm not really sure. I can actually, you know, check that. Uh, they seem to be interested, but they're not actually, you know, prominent in the Nigerian DJ circle itself. Are you because they're not actually doing their own show or in a club, or they're not playing in a party? They're probably, you know, like what we call like a supporting DJ, you know, they you know, go with other DJs and, you know, assist them in playing, you know, maybe play in between, you know, slot like for half an hour or something like that in order for them to, to broaden their, you know, um, you know, knowledge, I would say, in the DJ itself. Um, the the door was there open, you know, for female DJs to come in, but there seems to be, you know, less interest, really. But not that ladies don't like music, they do, because most of the show that we... We, we did there were you know big numbers of ladies everywhere enjoying themselves dancing and all that so obviously ladies would there enjoy the music but they just don't feel you know they should be delivering the music you know, just, i'm not really surprised really that you know it didn't last you know that long because the writing was on the wall you know all that was going on there seems to be a lot of um disagreement you know among members you know like i've described earlier as to you know what and you know when you know need to be done as to what show we're doing where we're going to do it you know what contribution we're going to make who's going to be involved financially sponsor flyer all sort of you know issues you know seems to be a lot of disagreement on that and uh, people are kind of like um, say losing interest you know with time as time goes on it seems to be um, um, yeah, diminishing numbers of uh, DJs. Some people kind of like uh, dropping out. Sometimes we have to like you know call people to find out if they're still gonna turn up at the meeting or if they're not coming and all that. The number seems to be going down and going down, and all of a sudden you know it seems to you know come to a stop. Um, some of the DJs actually try to uh, revamp and um, reverse the old issue by you know bringing it back to life and all that, but most of them seems to have lost the interest and everyone just went back. To what they were doing at the first place pre Nigeria DJ that's doing their own thing, doing their own Nigeria show on independence and uh, doing the parties and doing the nightclubs and other um, shows as well. Um, that is a difficult question, you know. I would say that there are some of the DJs, some of the members that are still interested and think, you know, we're still better off, you know, having a Nigeria DJ association together where you have all these just coming together and doing things, you know as one and others are not really interested in it because of what they've been through you know when we we're together and all that but i would say you know as the say goes never say never you know the chances are nigerians might come back together and, and you know start the nigeria dj once again and this time around we might you know go even further than we did the first time because all the mistakes seems to have been you know learned and will be taken on board and from there hopefully you know we'll progress forward as one